What's up guys? Today we're out here micro fishing with a little, little float right there searching for some rare cichlid species. I mean you may have seen these species already in my in my underwater my underwater videos. Um yeah I've I've heard that they can be caught in this little pond right here so I'm gonna give it a shot see if I can catch some interesting interesting cichlids or whatever that bites. We'll see what happens. Oh there we go there we go I got it what is that? Oh wow guys look at this this is a baby a baby wolfish oh my goodness this is so cool this is the smallest wolfish I've ever caught I would have never expected to catch a wolfish on a micro while micro fishing like this especially in this spot it is actually very cool all right, this deserves a picture. Let me get the picture right there and quickly. And now I'm gonna show it to the camera. Is my camera on to begin with? I can't see. It seems like it is, okay. Woo. Let's take a closer look at this wolfish. This is Hoplias malabaricus, the most common wolfish species in the area there's a second species that I I've caught in the channel before but this is the most common one in the whole region actually not only in the lakes here look at that that's a gorgeous little fish very very beautiful and super healthy okay time to release it back very cool catch I didn't expect that that's really that was really really unexpected but not what I came looking for though, but very cool catch nonetheless. Let's see, let's keep trying, see if I can get a, one of those cichlids that I wanted. Oh, what is that? Another baby pike cichlid. This one's even cuter, even smaller than the previous one. They're so tiny, man. Look at that, very very tiny baby pike cichlid, very good looking, very healthy, gonna let it go. Another baby, another baby pike. It's full of these guys, Carnicicla lepidota, aka pike cichlid, it's full of these babies. All right, whatever that fish is, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna stay here until I catch it. There we go, finally. Oh man, what is that? Oh, that's a tetra. No wonder it bit so aggressively. These tetras are super, super aggressive. This is a, uh... okay, let me see. Okay, this is an, a tetra from the genus Astyanax. Very likely Astyanax bimaculatus, probably one of the most common tetras out here. They make very good bait, they're very good bait fish. Look at that. I think this is the first one I'm catching for the channel. First Astyanax bimaculatus. I'll take a a quick picture and then I'm gonna go for the release. Very good looking fish. Not what I came looking for, but cool catch. Certainly a good cool catch. Alright, there you go buddy. So if there's one Astyanax, there's probably more, which means I'm gonna just keep catching those if I throw my bait here. Let's see, let's see if one of them takes it again. Alright guys, I just saw a bunch of tetras swimming around and they're hunting, so they're attacking moving bait. They will not take anything that stays still, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep casting this 
little piece of worm and retrieve it like it's a lure and I might get lucky and catch one of these tetras sadly they're not really big fish and I don't have any streamer or tiny nymph or fly of some of any kind to to use as bait but I'm pretty sure that I will be able to catch them with my little piece of worm first triporthus of the channel it's been years since I've caught one of these this is a type of tetra they are very aggressive hunters but they're very rare like it's very difficult to find them you don't really find them in many places look at that look at the belly on these guys these are very cool looking fish this is triportus triportus paranensis I don't know if they have a name in English but they're very very cool fish and they're very aggressive hunters they only take small flies sometimes it's possible to catch them on on spinner baits but they only take small flies and moving baits so what I did is to cast my look at that last look what I did is to cast my my little piece of worm with a big wooden bobber that it's heavy enough to be casted and retrieve it like it's a lure and they started attacking it it's pretty pretty cool I'm gonna try to catch another one they're very fun they're a lot of fun on light gear because they jump one of the fee of a few like small fish that really like to jump so I'm gonna I'm gonna try again to I'm gonna put a little piece of worm on this hook and I'm gonna retrieve it like it's a lure there we go oh that was close there we go oh man I was really close they're definitely around here I want to catch one more before I go back home they swim around in schools and they attack everything on their way so they're very very aggressive it's a lot of fun but you need to find them oh that was close again There we go, there we go, that's another one. All right, another triporthus. Look at that. These are gorgeous fish. It's been years since I caught one of these. They're very difficult to find. I never expected to find them right at this spot. But here they are. They're a lot less common than, than other tetra species around here. Look at that, gorgeous. Triporthus. They have a very sharp belly. They're very fun and cool looking. I want to catch one that jumps. This guy likes these guys like to jump when hooked. It's the last one just that that one just took the bait way too close to the to the shore so I couldn't I couldn't fight with it. There we go. Oh, that was close. Yes, I have it on. It's on. It's on. It's still on, Mr. Triportus. Give me a jump. There we go. That's what I wanted. Just a little jump. Will you jump again for me? No? Once was enough? All right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Smaller one so far. It gave me a nice jump there. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Okay. So I think that's good enough to finish the day. A little new species, I mean new species for the channel. The Triportus paranensis. Triportus paranensis. Look at the belly. Let's look, take a closer look at that. Look at the belly and the shape of the belly. It's really, really cool. All right. There he goes. Very nice way to finish 
today's fishing action. I didn't catch what I came looking for, but I had a few surprises though between the between the the baby wolfish. First catch was the baby wolfish, then the the Astyanax tetra, which is I think it was the first for the channel. And now ending the day with some three porters action, which is also a new species for the channel and all that's that was pretty cool. Even though I didn't catch the the cichlid species that I originally came looking for, I will call this a successful micro fishing session. A lot of fun. But it's already dark and I think I should get going. So that's gonna be it for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.